when most things have been taken away by this illness. Our work, freedom, our world outside these four walls. We are thankful, O Father, for what's most important to us can never be taken away. When we gather like this, when we hear your voice through those who truly care for us, we are strengthened. Our hope is renewed. Although we don't know how long this isolation from each other will last, weeks, months, maybe even years, some say, it is our complete unity, especially with those whom you have placed, that keeps us truly together. But we can't help remembering the times before all of this started. It seems that our happiest moments were when we could be together, laughing, comforting, singing, listening. How we long for those days. So we fervently continue in asking you, begging you and eagerly waiting for those times to come again. When this is all over, when the devotional prayers of your people have been answered, when we step out into the world, we will rush to you. We will be so eager to put on our uniforms once again. We will sing like we've never sung before and mean every word. When we pray in the congregation of your people, we will pour out our hearts to you. We will pay attention to everything you have to say to us. We will embrace every moment with you. We will love each other even more. Smiles will be brighter, greetings warmer. We will look back on how our leaders worked so hard and risked even their own lives in caring for us. We will be thankful for every opportunity to give our time and strength in following the example of our Lord Jesus Christ in doing the good works that you expect from us. That is our promise to you, O God. But for now, together with our families, as we look forward, to those days to come again, we will endure patiently. We will carry on in prayer and in obedience. <laughs>